Is coffee really good for your liver? Watch this video to know the facts about coffee. We have a lot of evidence that coffee is good for liver, says liver specialist Jamil Joaquin Fleming. Coffee is especially helpful when it comes to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. What is fatty liver disease? Fatty liver disease steatosis condition caused by having too much fat buildup in your liver. A healthy liver contains a small amount of fatigue, becomes a problem when fat reaches 5% to 10 of your liver's weight. What cause of fatty liver? When the liver does not process and break down fats as it normally should, too much fat will accumulate. People tend to develop fatty liver if they have certain other conditions, such as obesity, diabetes, or high triglycerides. Alcohol abuse, rapid weight loss, and malnutrition may also lead to fatty liver. Now, why coffee can help your liver to fight disease? When your body digests caffeine, it makes a chemical called paraxanthine that slows the growth of the scar tissue involved in fibrosis that may help fight liver cancer, alcohol-related cirrhosis, non-alcohol-related fatty liver disease, and hepatitis C. Which coffee is best for liver disease? Since people with fatty liver disease often have problems like diabetes and obesity, it's especially important not to add extra fat and sugar to your coffee. Black organic coffee is the best one to drink. How much coffee should you drink? We recommend at least three cups every day to help prevent liver problems, Dr. Joaquin Fleming says. And if you have hepatitis or fatty liver disease, even more as many as four, five, or even six cups a day might be helpful. However, not everyone can handle that much coffee. It can trigger headaches, difficulty initiating sleep, anxiety, and jitters in some people. Strongly suggests going this routine if you can tolerate it. How to have a healthy liver. Drinking coffee is just one way to keep your liver healthy. It's also important to get vaccinated against hepatitis A and hepatitis B viruses, which both damage the liver. A healthy diet is also key. The liver is the first organ to metabolize the foods we eat. Eating a lot of high sugar, high saturated fat foods can lead to fatty liver disease. And of course, heavy alcohol drinking can permanently damage the liver and lead to cirrhosis. However, coffee isn't a miracle worker. It won't completely reverse liver disease or undo the damage caused by excessive alcohol use. But it can be one delicious and satisfying step toward a happier liver. Here are a few foods to include in your healthy liver diet. Greens. Greens to prevent fat buildup compounds found in spinach and other leafy greens may help fight fatty liver disease. A 2021 study trusted source found that eating spinach specifically lowered the risk of NAFL, possibly due to the nitrate and distinct polyphenols found in the leafy green. Interestingly enough, the study focused on raw spinach, as cooked spinach did not have the same strong results. This could be because cooking spinach and other leafy greens may result in lowered polyphenolic content and antioxidant activity. Fish Fish to reduce inflammation and fat levels, fatty fish such as salmon, sardines, tuna, and trout are high in omega-3 fatty acids. Research trusted source suggests that supplementing with omega-3s may benefit those with NAFLD by reducing liver fat, boosting protective hill cholesterol, and lowering triglyceride levels. Nuts. Nuts to help reduce inflammation A diet rich in nuts is associated with reduced inflammation, insulin resistance, and oxidative stress, and a lower prevalence of NAFLD. Research trusted sources found that people with fatty liver disease who eat walnuts have improved liver function tests. Avoid when possible. Alcohol. Added sugar. Fried foods. Added salt. White bread. Rice and pasta. Red meat. Getting active. Exercise, paired with diet, can help you lose weight and manage your liver disease. Aim to get at least 30 minutes of aerobic exercise on most days of the week.